Greetings, families. Welcome back once again. I hope you are well. I hope your day is good. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. This is just a quick update on our Burkina Bay winners uh, at the robotic competition, World Robotic Competition, the youngsters that has won the competition. I was telling you definitely our president will see them, congratulate them, and also motivate and encourage them as always. This is his proud moment. And so he made them. This is just a quick update. I'll be back. Thank you for your time. We are the Govela Bukina team, and this morning we had the honor of being invited by the head of state, His Excellency, the President of FASO, to present to him our gold jury medal that we won at the first Global Challenge Robotics Competition in Panama. So it was truly an honor for us that the President was able to make time to welcome us and to congratulate us because that was the first thing the head of state did for us. He congratulated us for being able to help shine a positive light on Burkina Faso internationally. And as advice, the head of state encouraged us to continue in this direction. That is to demystify what science, technology, engineering and mathematics are. So really contribute to making young people believe in their potential. The fact that we were able to win this gold medal from the jury at the competition shows that our young people have talent. I think that Burkina Bay youth can also be inspired by this and believe in themselves. The head of state also gave us advice, encouraging us to promote STEM, continue to train other young people so that we have more people who are also part of this movement. The movement, meaning to restore the image of Burkina Faso, to show that Burkina Faso can create. He really encouraged us to go into the field of robotics, to demystify everything related to robotics, and to try to move towards being able to manufacture certain products locally. When we look at what we import, as he said at the opening of Fersis, there are products we import that we actually have the capacity to make locally. At the same time, this opens up new perspectives for GoBlab, meaning setting up a Fab Lab. A Fab Lab is a community laboratory, a place where people can come to learn and get hands-on experience with technology, moving from theory directly into practice. So with this Fab Lab, we'll be able to introduce people to practical work with technologies, digital technologies, manual technologies like electricity, mechanics, and so on. So it's really all of this um, perspective and these topics that we discussed with the president and we are truly grateful for the time he gave us. It shows his commitment to the youth, uh, taking time to meet with young people who have excelled internationally demonstrates that the president believes in this potential within the youth and that strengthens and encourages us to keep moving forward on this path. Subtitling Soci. Big congratulations to them once again for, I mean, putting Burkina Bay, Africa as a whole on the map, winning this robotic competition, the world competition. Yes, Africa is not dumb. And so our president, this is his proud moment. He always encouraged them to put their flag on the map and it's a win for Africa as a whole. I've added another video to this one, the robotic week that is going on in Burkina Faso that our president spoke about, the artificial intelligence and many more. It has been explained in short video what they are doing, what the fair is about. I'll be back. Thank you for your time.
this robot is a humanoid robot from the brand Unitree. It's the Unitree G1. So this is for Digital Week. The ministry had decided to present a number of activities, including robots. So these robots are, as I mentioned, from the brand Unit, which is a Chinese company. What's special is that you can take these robots, program them, and have them perform a number of tasks depending on what you want. So the main objective actually of the presentation of these robots was, first of all, to introduce them to the public. Here we were showing that these aren't necessarily things you only see elsewhere, but that they could be realities we might see here, right here. It was actually to break the preconceived notions people have about this kind of technology, thinking maybe it's only in the West that you can see this type of technology. So it's about bringing them in, allowing people to interact with the robots. The second objective was to motivate and inspire younger people to enroll in technology-related fields and to innovate in that direction. It's true that seeing this kind of advanced technology can genuinely motivate them and really push them to create, invent and innovate. And also it should be pointed out that the expertise. The ministry was involved in programming these robots to perform certain types of tasks or movements. So I want to make it clear, these are not robots that are manufactured here, but they are robots that we have programmed. So today we are at the Startup Village of Digital Week with two solutions called eCode and eCode Pro. eCode is an application available on the Play Store that allows you to review all the material from driving courses remotely. Currently, a lot of people want to get their driver's license. Unfortunately, their schedules are packed and they don't have time to sit down and attend in-person classes. So we created an application that includes slides, road signs and exam simulations. There are also progress statistics, so you can know whether you're ready or not to take the driving theory exam. So there's no need to travel anymore. You can stay where you are and study. We also have a second solution called eCode Pro, which is dedicated to managing driving school hotels. Currently, the management of driving school hotels is done manually. Candidate registration, payments, expenses. There are notebooks being used, there's stress involved, and people are always listening in. So, with all that in mind, we thought of designing a management application Everything is centralized and digitized. There is multi-center management. And with the application, they can manage everything with just one click, whether it's scheduling or driving school operations. Our solution adds value for those who use it because, for example, it allows them to save time. It actually saves them from having to travel just to sit down somewhere. And on top of that, it increases. Actually, it decreases the failure rate for the driving course exam because a lot of people go and end up taking the exam two or three times. Whereas with our solution, when you study, you have progress statistics and grades that tell you if you're not ready to take the test yet, so you should review more first. And with that, when you go to take the test, you're ready and you pass on your first try. Thank you so much for listening and watching. You heard everything, all the questions and the answers are there. Because of the noise, some places you will not hear it properly and I've moved them out. But you have an idea what is going on. Congratulations to them all. The, our youngsters who is programming um, that project or that app for the drivers. Wow, that is brilliant. We need all these talent. We need them and they need to showcase all of them. Our Ghanaian brothers and sisters are there, but they are not showing what they are doing. If you have seen any video about them, share it under the comment section. I want to know what they are presenting or what they have presented over there. I want to know that as well. Uh, Africa is not damp. We have talented people. It just we have leaders that do not care about us. That's why we are going through what we are going through. If we have good leaders, I don't think 
I don't think we will be where we are now. We will be at the top. I read a comment this morning that makes me ha happy. It's in Arab. Uh, Google translated for me that Africa is going to be in the stage that it was in the 14th century. Yes, that means Africa was at the top before we were put under the dormant and being used and abused and dump and all that. What is the word to use? Uh, congratulations to them. Oh, I'm so, so proud of them and the new ones who are also learning are motivated by the art of our president. I wish them all the best. I wish them all the best. Thank you so much. This is just a quick update of what is going on. Please kindly share any experience that you have in your country under the comment section for us to learn from you as well. I know Africa as a whole, there is a lot of talent. We just, we don't appreciate them a lot. We don't showcase them a lot because, well, they don't care about them. Even to get approval is not easy. But uh, in Burkina Faso, Niger Mali is not going to be the same. They will look after them properly and keep all the knowledge in the countries. They will not go outside. And even if they go outside, it will be to improve it on them and bring them back. I'm talking a lot here. This is a voiceover once again. Thank you so much. My families, my members, my new members, thank you so, so much. My kings and queens, my retaining families, I appreciate you all. My VIP retaining families, thank you so, so much for coping with me or for being here with me. If you are new here, my name is Mamri. Yes, I translate the videos, work on them before sharing. Thank you. God bless you all. Please like the video. Can they share it if possible before you leave? If you like something like this, God bless you. Have a wonderful weekend, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye. Thank you. Credit to Faso 7.